Zeus and the Medicine Adventure In a cozy little house nestled amongst blooming sunflowers lived a mischievous beagle named Zeus and a grumpy cat named Whisker. Zeus, with his floppy ears and boundless energy, was always up for an adventure, while Whisker, with his sleek fur and proper posture, preferred naps in sunbeams. One gloomy morning, however, things were different. Zeus, usually a whirlwind of barks and zoom eyes, lay listlessly on his dog bed. His tail drooped, and his brown eyes were dull. Good morning, sleepyhead, yawned Whisker, stretching luxuriously. But then he noticed Zeus' lack of enthusiasm. Zeus, are you all right? Zeus whimpered, his wet nose twitching uncomfortably. My tummy feels yucky, Whisker, and my head feels hot. Whisker felt a pang of worry. He hopped onto the bed and nudged Zeus with his nose. That sounds like a sniffle. We need to tell Mom. Mom, a kind woman with a warm smile, came rushing in after hearing their worried meows and barks. She felt Zeus' forehead and frowned. Oh dear, you have a fever, Zeus. You must stay in bed today and rest. Zeus groaned. Resting sounded boring compared to his usual games of fetch and chasing butterflies. But then Mom pulled out a small spoon and a cup filled with a bright pink liquid. This is your medicine, Zeus, Mom explained gently. It will help you feel better faster. Zeus' ears flattened. Medicine? Yuck! It looks like strawberry syrup, but I bet it tastes horrible. Whisker, who understand the magic of the spoonful pink medicine, decided to take charge. He hopped onto the nightstand and peered into the cup. Hmm, this medicine might be a little shy, Whisker declared in his most serious voice. Perhaps if we sing it a song, it will be braver and go down easier? Intrigued, Zeus perked up a bit. Singing did sound more fun than just swallowing yucky medicine. Whisker purred and started singing a silly little tune. Medicine, medicine, pink and sweet. Make Zeus feel better, head to feet. Chase away the sniffles, make the tummy right. So Zeus can play again with all his might. Mom chuckled, and even Zeus cracked a small smile. He opened his mouth wide, and Mom spooned the medicine. To his surprise, it didn't taste horrible at all. It actually had a hint of strawberry, just like Whisker said. Over the next few days, Zeus stayed in bed, snuggled under a warm blanket with Whisker by his side. They sang silly songs, told stories, and even played a quiet game of pop hat with a stuffed bear. Mom brought them delicious chicken soup and plenty of fluids. Slowly but surely, with the help of the medicine, rest, and Whisker's excellent company, Zeus started to feel better. By the time the sun was shining brightly again, Zeus was back on his paws, albeit with a slightly wobbly trot. He chased butterflies in the garden with renewed energy, his barks echoing with joy. That night, curled up together on their bed, Zeus snuggled closer to Whisker. Thanks for taking care of me, Whisker, he mumbled sleepily. Whisker purred contentedly. Anytime, Zeus. But remember, even superheroes like you need their medicine, sometimes to fight off villains like sniffles and tummy aches. Zeus yawned. Okay, okay. But next time, can we sing a different song? Maybe one about chasing squirrels? Whisker chuckled. 
We can definitely work on that, my friend. And so, Zeus and Whisker drifted off to sleep, knowing that even when one of them wasn't feeling their best, they had each other, silly songs, and a spoonful of courage to see them through. After all, dear listener, taking care of yourself, even when it means swallowing yucky medicine, is the bravest thing you can do to get back to having adventures with your best friends. Remember to like and subscribe.